how to run your Flutter app on a real physical device and also learn how to mirror your phone to your computer screen. To run your Flutter app on a physical device, first of all go to your settings. Here we need to scroll all the way down to go to the developer options. And by default they are not activated because they are only meant for app developers. Therefore go here to about phone. And then you might see here a build number entry or you also need to go to software information. And here click seven times quickly on this build number. And with this the developer options should be activated. Therefore simply go here twice back to the developer options and then you can click on them. Within the developer options you need to do two things. First of all make sure that the developer options are turned on. And secondly scroll here all the way down until you come to the debugging section. And make sure that the USB debugging is turned on and then click OK to allow the debugging. Next you need to connect your phone via USB to your computer. After you have connected your real device to your computer you should see a prompt. Simply click on OK to authorize your computer to access your device. Now that our real physical device is set up and connected to our computer, we can go to our command line or terminal. And here we write then the command flutter doctor. Make sure that your flutter doctor doesn't show here any warnings or errors because otherwise flutter might not detect and locate your physical device. Next you can go into your IDE and then you should be able to choose your real device. After you have selected your real physical device you can click on the run symbol to run your Flutter app on your physical device. And in general running a Flutter app on a real device is fast since it doesn't slow your computer down. On the other hand using an emulator or simulator would slow your computer down. And now it should have launched your app on your real device. Let's also look at three common issues that you might face with a real device. First of all if you face a problem that your device is not found and you cannot select it within your IDE then simply go to your command line or terminal and type the command flutter devices. Here you can verify that flutter recognizes your connected device and also make sure that your device is authorized. If your device is not displayed within the command line then make sure that you have the latest USB drivers installed. And another solution might be to go to your phone settings and then disable the USB debugging and turn it on again. Next while running the command flutter doctor another common issue is that the Android SDK is not configured which is needed for flutter to locate your device. To fix this go to your Android studio and then go to the settings and here inside you need to type in then Android SDK. Next copy here then this Android SDK location. Next go back to your command line or terminal and here you write then this command flutter config and then you can define here the path to your Android SDK. Therefore add here a space after it and paste then this path which we have copied before here inside. And then click enter. And another common issue is that the Android licenses are not accepted. Simply run flutter doctor Android licenses and then press Y and press enter to accept the terms. And lastly and most importantly if you also want to mirror your real device to your computer screen then you need to simply go to this URL which is a free screen monitoring application. And this is what you can install on Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Simply scroll here a bit down until you come to this summary section. So you can install the software for your platform by running these commands on Mac OS and Linux in your terminal or command line. And for Windows you only need to download here this file. And now every time before you mirror your real device to your computer screen make sure that your real device is connected via USB to your computer. On macOS and Linux you can simply run then this command after you have installed this tool. And now if you press enter then it will launch your mirrored physical device on your computer screen. And of course you can also click here then on the screen to also interact with this device from your computer. On Windows you only need to open this executable file that you have downloaded and this will then launch your mirrored physical device on your computer screen. If you liked this video make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.